chestnuts roasting on the open fire. Hi guys, um, welcome back to my channel. If you're wondering why I'm so out of breath, I've literally just walked to the shop. Which literally, the shop is literally down the road, two minute walk, and literally it killed me. Oh, jeez. <coughs> I feel absolutely shit. To be honest, the reason why I went to the shop because I thought, oh, I need some more milk and I need some more bread. So I thought, you know what? Let's see if a bit of fresh air will help me feel a bit better. Oh, man. How wrong was I? It's made me feel a whole lot worse. So, um, I don't know what I'm going to do about my Bushfield appointment tomorrow because literally I don't have a clue. Oh, sorry, guys, I forgot to tell you that today is Sunday. I'm thinking of doing a weekly vlog. This is our weekly um, Terry feeling absolutely short vlog. Um, where you see me slowly get through my cleaning and slowly get... Um, I forgot what else I was going to do. And slowly do my pamper routine. Because today, on Sunday, I was supposed to video it for Monday. So, guys, I've still got video for Monday. Um, I'm going to get it done in the morning. Because um, I need to be up early. Because I've got to go to Bushfields. But I'm going to ring them first, see what they say. Because, um, obviously, if there's no way of them getting me another appointment sooner, I'm going to have to go to that appointment. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, guys. So it is a Sunday, it is, I don't know what time it is, I can't remember. I think it's like summer past eight or summer past nine. Um, I slept all day Sunday till summer past five I was asleep from. Well, I was asleep till summer past five. So yeah. Mm. Don't know how that works. But yeah, so um, I'm going to obviously chill the rest of the day in the bed i'm gonna get up my plan well this is my plan <laughs> i don't know how well this plan is gonna go but we'll see so i'm gonna i'm gonna watch uh criminal minds now till probably about like 10 o'clock um or about 11 because i normally take my tablets an hour before i go to bed <clears throat> and then oh so, yeah, so that's what my plan is. It's going to be Criminal Minds or watching TV till, like, probably about 11 or summer. Go to sleep, wake up early in the morning so that I can ring my bushy fields. Um, if they said that there's no appointment for... No recent appointment, I'm going to have to go to it. So yeah, so we'll see how girl that goes um, later on, well tomorrow, and but don't, I'm bringing you along with me anyway, um, but I won't be able to video in there, I don't think, so yeah. So yeah guys, I'll see you in a bit, I'll come back to you when I'm going to bed. Bye guys. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is probably like about, like, what time now? Um, Summer past one I think, and I am here to join my brushes. Um, I have washed every single one of them. Um, some of it, like the eye brushes, I've just like used a baby wipe on them. Um, and then my big face brushes, I've used um, and I've done a proper wash with them. Um, that one's dry. And now I'm just going through gently drying the ones that are that need drying and then just putting them back away um i think the next lot of clean doing the uh makeup brushes i think i'll just wash them all including the beauty blenders and the um puffs that i use to do the powder as well just so that they can all be cleaned as well um that brush is dry this one can be for my i need to give them my brushes to be honest anyway because you see, I've got way too many brushes in here and I don't know whether I need them all. So let's go through the face ones. So there's my foundation one. Well, yeah, I'm going to use that for foundation actually. I prefer it more than a beauty blender so that can go back away. So foundation, powder, bronzer. Um, I'm 
blush brush highlighter so yeah so that's them lot fine because then i've got the puff the puff sitting at the um fingies in there that need washing next once obviously i do another lot of um cleaning the makeup brushes um so these brushes can go well apart from that one these brushes can go back into my makeup brush set um that is in the spare room and i've got loads of makeup brushes like trust me there's loads of makeup brushes in there like loads so i'll go for the face ones in a minute not the face ones the eye ones in a minute because i'm just cleaning this last one Okay, so that's good. So let's go for the face ones. Okay, so I need a couple of blending ones. There's them. I'll use that in to do my contour on my nose. That's for when I do liners and foolers. Um, that is for when I pack it on. This is my small blendy brush. I don't know why I said this is the brush that I use when I pack it on with the tape. So yeah, so that one I'm going to keep in there. This one is the one that I use for packing on stuff. Um, or when I do cut creases and I need a flat brush like this. This is what I use for my concealer sometimes. Um, Sometimes I use that to blend out my concealer when I don't feel like using a beauty blender. And then this is for when I want that more snatched like liner. So yeah, so that's them ones done. And now I'm just cleaning the foundation brush. Um, I need to get another brush from out in the other room actually saying that for my um, cream contour. I need to get two actually one for powder one for cream blush and one for cream bronzer bronzer contour well bronzer whatever same thing there's a new thing now it's called bronzer it's a bronzer and contour put together <laughs> I wonder if, I, if someone's actually brought that out to be fair <clears throat> there we go that's pretty much dry now now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put these two brushes on this towel facing the heater because oh my ankle <coughs> so that it dries that way i have my eyelash curler in oh the washing goes oh i give up oh come on i have my eyelash curler in there um so yeah so let's put that back in there and then these need to go in the wash so I've got to do a load of washing in a minute, so I'll put these in with them. Um, I've got to do the sheets and the bed sheet and the pillowcases. Um, I'm going to do my fro after these have all dried. Because you see, on this actual duvet, that's the thing that's inside, there's like loose threads and uh, it's... Uh, get to my nerves when I keep getting it stuck so um I'll do the wash the fro after I've this lot has dried so then I've got some to put back on here um so yeah um so I've already done one load I've got it out to dry um and now I just need to do one more load which is on my bedding so my bed stuff, like my bed sheet, my pillowcase, two pillowcases, my bedding. Um, I'm gonna do my fro, but after I've done, after this lot is dried, then I'll do that. Um, I'm sure I've got another fro at my mum's actually saying that. I'm not sure, but we'll soon find out. So yeah, guys. So um, I'm gonna go and do me something to eat because I've not had nothing to eat since I got back. I've not even gone to sleep yet. Um, because as I said, I've done it all nighter. Um, because I slept in the day and now I couldn't sleep at night. So I'm not, I'm aiming to go to sleep tonight, later on tonight. 
because I don't want to go sleep to sleep in the day because I guarantee I'm gonna have a repeat of last night of where I just couldn't get to sleep. Um, because my mum said, "Why do you just get to sleep?" And I'm like, "Well, I ain't doing that shit again because look how it planned out yesterday." But I wake up to like somewhere past five, and then I couldn't get to sleep all night, so I'm not doing that again. So I'm gonna stay awake up until tonight. If I stay awake till 11, that's fine by me because that's normally my bedtime anyway. Um, because I don't like leave, sleep waking. Thank you. I don't like staying awake for too long because if I stay awake for too long, like say if I go stay awake till after 12 o'clock, like 1, 2 or something, I will sleep all day in the day. Um, obviously, this vlog is an a, a, uh, exception because obviously I'm ill. As you can hear in my throat. Um, so when I'm ill I do sleep all day. Like all I want to do is sleep. That is literally all I want to do. Um, really? So guys I'll come back to you when that is finished. And I'll carry on what I was on about. But I'm going to go and do some tweak quickly. And then put these in the wash. So yeah I'll be back. Now we just sort of stop. Ugh, I give up. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go and put uh, this lot in the wash. I'm going to go and do me some tweaks because I have nothing yet. Um, and so, yeah, so um, if I stay awake till 11 o'clock, that'd be fine by me because anything after 12 and I will not, and I will be able to sleep all day. But obviously, this week is an obs obsession, um, obsession, exception because obviously me being ill, because all I want to do is just sleep. That's all I want to do is just sleep, sleep, sleep. But the thing is, if I sleep too much in the day, I won't sleep at night. What are you doing, Charlie? I've just had like this ginger cat come running in from the fucking living room, like for the door, for the window ledge. Like, jeez. I swear down, I don't know what it is with these cats, but I think them hyper on summit because literally, these cats go running in and out of this room like anything. You do, don't you? See? Stella's just literally completely ignored me and gone to buy West End trolleys. They literally play fight with each other and everything, man. They chase each other. It's, it's hilarious. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to get in so I can put this little wash on. Leave the rug alone. I swear down, my cat's got an obsession with these rugs. I swear down, I'm going to kill him. I really am. Look, I'll go out and then I'll come back and the rugs are like flung across the room. Or summer, or like literally, like. <sighs> literally, Charlie was on the window ledge there, jumped down and legged it across the room. Kid, have you got some like, like some energy that you can give me then? Hmm? Charlie, you got some energy you can give me? I need it. So yeah guys, I'm going to go do me something to eat and then I'll come back later on because I'm going to have a bath as well and I need to wash my hair. My hair is greasy as hell but I'm going to see how much I get done today because obviously I've got a week. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get see what I get done today because I need to get the cleaning done and I need to do my self care. Leave the rug alone! I swear down, Stella. I'm gonna kick your ass, girl. So yeah, so um, I've got the cleaning that I need to get done this week, and then I've got my self care routine that I need to get done this week. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna get going so we can do some tweet and wash this lot because that is just gonna carry on. So yeah, I'll come back later on when I'm going in the bath and that lot. So bye guys. So hi guys, ignored the hair. I need to go and wash it in a minute, but I can't be bothered. So basically, I think you can probably hear that I'm starting to feel a lot better. Um, I think that's because I took two cold and flu tablets. Um, I completely forgot that I had them from the last time when I got a cold. Um, and I think they're really starting to help. So, um, so I feel a lot better than I did Friday. Oh my god! Like Friday and like the weekend, I felt terrible, like terrible. Um, but anyway, 
um as you can hear i've got the two heaters on to dry my bed in because um i want to put my bed in back on um because after i've put that back on i can jump in the bath and wash my hair um because my hair needs a wash like bad like really bad um so yeah so if you've got a cold or a flu i would definitely recommend trying out the cold and flu tablets because to be fair i forgot that i had them to start off with and then i and then i like looked in my tablets and i was like oh i forgot about these so i thought i'll just take two this morning see how i feel and to be honest i feel a lot better like uh, i woke up this morning and i felt horrible like i was like blocked um i had mucus um and so yeah i took two of them about an hour two hours ago and i kind of feel a lot better now so i'm gonna keep taking them um i'm gonna keep taking them till like literally i feel 100 percent like you know what i mean and then once i'm gonna get some more of them as well because you know what they're really helping so yeah so yeah guys i'm sorry i didn't video monday um there, a lot happened monday um i went to my bushyfield appointment because i had to go um she didn't sign the piece of paper um like to be fair i think i need to talk to someone above her to be honest because you know i don't think she knew what was giving not like, what she was on about um so yeah then i got back and literally oh my god i tell you something i done an all night that night because um i'm sure i'll come on video video uh like some past summer on the uh sunday night and literally i was asleep from like till summer past five and then i could not sleep on the night so i had to do it so i done an all night uh, then I had to be up, I had to like get dressed and everything, go to my Bushford appointment, which they moved where there was. Because where my Bushford appointment is, is next to the hospital. And you have like this gully, you go in, and then the first building, and that's where it was last time. But now I had to go all the way down to the other side to it, and I'm like, <sighs> so like, I was like, <sighs> So uh, it made me late because obviously I had to find the building again because I thought it was still in the same place. They didn't mention on the letter that it's moved. So I'm like, why didn't you mention on the letter that the, the building that it's moved? Like, they should have gave me a map or somewhere. Like, it was my... Um, but obviously I got there in the end. Um, I've got to do a journal of... Um, from till then my next appointment just so that i can obviously explain to her what's going on um so yeah so um so yeah i think that's everything um i think i'm gonna do me something to eat in a minute because i'm hungry yes i've had an energy drink and do i care no i do not care one bit like the energy loss I've had since having the flu. Oh my god, I need them. As you can tell, I can still like I've still got it in my throat, like you know what I mean. <clears throat> but I think I'm on the way to recovery, so that's a good thing. Um, I can start going out then because I'm, I'm, guys, I'm getting sick of being in now. I'm like, <laughs> I'm not. Like, it's one of them, I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? Like, I'm, I'm bored, what do I do? So, yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm going to wait for... I'm going to go and do me some tweet. I'm going to, hopefully, by the time my food's done, the bed sheet will be done, it'll be dry, and then the duvet will be dry as well because I've got the heating on the dry. Heating on the dry? Heating on the bed sheet um hopefully that would dry um because the pillowcase has already been put back on because the pillowcase is completely dry so they're fine um it's just that i need obviously to the bed sheet and the um duvet to be done and then <coughs> excuse me but 
to be fair. I'm going to do me something to eat and then probably clean the kitchen down because I need to start doing my cleaning. Like I've been, I, I couldn't do it Sunday and I was like, I'm, I'm, I feel shit. But like, I don't feel as bad as I felt Friday. Like Friday, oh my God. Jeez, all I wanted to do was sleep Friday. Felt absolutely terrible. I couldn't breathe, like, I had mu severe mucus. Like, don't get me wrong, I've still got mucus now and I'm still a bit, like, blocked, but not as bad as it was Friday. So, yeah, so I'm going to go do some tweet, wipe down the kitchen quickly, and then um, hopefully by the time I've had my food, the uh, duvet and the bed sheet will be done. So I'll come back to you in a bit, guys. Bye. So hi guys, it's a bit dark now because I've turned the light off and now I'm chilling before I go to bed. It is quarter to 11, I think it is. I've took my tablets. Now I'm just waiting to get drowsy and then I'm going to go to sleep. Um, I'm just watching Criminal Minds with Stella. Literally at the bottom and Charlie right next to me, like always. So, yeah. Hold on, let me see if I can... There's Charlie. And then there's Stella at the bottom. Um, so, yeah. Hello. Hello Charlie. So yeah, so this is this is the routine every night. Every night, don't matter if I've been out or what. I get back, again to bed, watch my TV, and I've literally got Stella and Charlie joining me. So it's like it's whatever. It's one of them, hey bothered. <clears throat> I don't mind to be fair. I love having the cats with me, to be fair. Um so yeah, so now so what I did was I had food. Um I put my pillowcases on. I'll put my bedding on. Well, my bed sheet because that's dry. Now I'm just waiting for the duvet to dry, and then I'll put that on. That'll probably be a tomorrow job. Um, I went in the bath. I washed my hair, as you can tell. Um, I've done a few TikToks as well. I couldn't help some of them. And then, what else did I do? I've just pretty much been here, sitting here, watching TikToks. And watching my criminal minds. Um, I also watched some YouTube videos as well on my phone. Um, what can I say? I'm the multitasker queen. So yeah, so now I'm just gonna carry on watching the rest of criminal minds and probably watch the rest of a YouTube video that I started yesterday. So yeah, guys, bye. I will talk to you all in the morning because I'll come back in the morning. Um, because this video ain't gonna be uploaded till Friday. So yeah. So see you a bit, guys morning guys it is wednesday morning at like freaking like 10 to 11 i think it's or something like that um i'm just going to my mates um i've got the poundland first so, so i need to get some cold and flu tablets and some more cell water so yeah see you in a bit guys you know what sometimes wonder about my mother i do I really do. So, I've just had a phone call off her because, obviously, I brought um, one of the metal things that you screw together to put on the wall to hang your clothes on. Because, obviously, that in the spare room, there's that door that's like a wardrobe thing. And I want to put it in there so I can start hanging my clothes up. And then, once I've done that, I can move on to the rest of the room and start writing down what i need to get for the spare room um to storage and that lot and decorating obviously i've already got the wall paint um i just need to get the glass and then obviously i just need to get the black off the skirting boards so yeah so and i'm talking to my mom about it because obviously like it ain't giving well my drill ain't working so um my dad's like oh well, i'll come up and have a look saturday for you i was like, all right then yeah that's fine and then i can get it done and then put my clothes on saturday my mum's like, I was like, well, the back wall that I'm putting it on is a wall to the back of the lift. She goes, you haven't got a lift in your flat? I'm like, mum, how do I get from the lobby up to my flat? I certainly don't walk up the stairs. Maybe if I did, I would have lost weight. Anyway, that's another one for another day. And I'm like, she's like, but you've got no flat in, you've got no uh, lift in your flat. I'm like, mum, where the lift is? In like the hallway thing where all of our doors are in the flat, there's a there's a lift. And the spare in my spare room, 
the wall that is attached to the to that wall to the room the walls that are connected to that spare room are attached to next door's room and the back of the lift she's like oh so yeah I was like, Mom, how docile can you be? Like, seriously? And she's like, leave me alone. So, yeah, I've just had a little laugh about that. Like, even my dad had as well, because my dad sat next to her. Oh, my God, I'm like... I turn around, because even Jamie would have understood that, Mom, like, really? She's like, just leave me alone. It's sat to, it's, I'm like, you know what, don't mind, just leave it. Let's just forget it. Let's just forget it. So, Saturday, my mum and dad's coming up to help me with that room, to put that wardrobe thing, and then my mum will probably help me start pulling my clothes on the um, pole, because the thing is, when my mum and dad come up to do somewhere, they stay like a good, like a good, for, like here for a good two or three hours or four hours, so, you know what I mean, so, there's going to be plenty of cup of tea being given that day. So yeah, so that's Saturday. Um, today I went up to see a mate because obviously, like, I was ill from Friday up until like today. I felt better today, to be fair, but I think it's because I've been taking these um cold and flu tablets. I completely forgot that I had them. Um, from obviously last time when I was ill, they're the uh flu max all in one chesty cough and cold uh, tablets and then this one that i've got i think it's the same i ain't sure to be honest i'm pretty sure it's the same but these have been helping a lot to be fair um flu max all in one chesty cough and cold tablets so yeah they help with the flu cold a chesty cough and that lot and to be fair the only thing that's left that's st i've still got is obviously the blot nose the mucus and that's it really that's all that's left um i have got a bit of a sore throat but i think that's because obviously i've done vaping and smoking today which i do not recommend do not mix fags with vapes like just don't do it um so yeah that's probably why i've got a sore throat coming because you know you're not really meant to mix fags and vapes um so yeah so don't do that guys I won't be doing it from now on. <clears throat> so that's why I got so far, but then I've got mucus left over. I've got a block nose. To be fair, it's only really blocked in the morning and at night. In the day, I'm pretty all right. Um, to be fair, in the day, I'm pretty all right. Like, um, I went up to my mates. To be fair, I think um, that kind of killed me, to be honest, if I'm being honest. Because, like, obviously, I've just come out, out from being ill. And then I've gone straight up to my mates, which is, like... Depending on whether you time the buzz is right, it's like a now on some, I think. So, yeah, so. Um, but, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm not cool thing now. So, yeah, so that's that. That's what I've done today. Um, obviously, I've got back. I went to the toilet. I fixed up the pole that I want put in the cupboard. I did start doing it, but, like, for some reason, it just it was working like i think it's because i needed a wall hammer drill and my dad's got one i haven't so you know what i mean that's that's probably the issue there so yeah but anyway it's going to be sorted in a way the weekend um my dad's coming up to do it um with my mom because my mom my mom ain't really seen me since i've become ill um so yeah she's gonna come up have a cup of tea and that lot dad's gonna have a cup of tea i guarantee there'll be a lot of cup of tea break um, so yeah, so so now I'm just charging my vape because obviously me, you know when you vape goes funny because it's stuck. You don't when you suck it to that sounds well. When you suck it to obviously like to vape it, you don't get loads of the the flavour and everything because obviously it needs charging. So that's what I've just done. I'm gonna let this charge for an hour. But before I go to bed, I'm going to put this portable charger on because I didn't realise that, excuse me, the last time I used it, I didn't charge it. And it's on 7%, so 
that needs to go on charge i've got my one on charge already that i've used because i didn't realize that had no battery um so yeah so i'm gonna go do me something to eat because i am literally hungry like mega hungry um i'm not really at all day to be fair because i, I, I just you know when you you've got like the flu and everything and you just don't feel hungry that's that's kind of the situation i was in even though i'm getting better and getting over it i just i think because of obviously that whole week that i had the flu i didn't i had like one meal a day like like i'm gonna be honest i had one meal a day um the thursday when it started i only had like really sore throat um i had one meal i had a pasta pot and a pack of crisps and a drink that comes with probably three pounds summer from um asda um and then friday i didn't go out because that's when i felt the worst like that's when it hit man like proper bad um because thursday night i got back and i was i was all right to be fair but then friday hit and i was like boom nope nope not having it it's I'm ill, like, I'm sorry, but no, um, and then, so Friday, I only had one meal, I'd, like, I was that knackered, I just wanted to sleep, I felt that drained, I had no energy, to be fair, I just felt like I just wanted to curl up on my bed and go sleep, so I literally done the most quickest food ever, and that was literally cheesy beans on toast, that's all I had Friday because literally I felt so tired, so drained, no energy. When you feel like that, you don't really think about like making a fancy meal, like waiting for something to cook or nothing. Like you don't think of that. And then Saturday, I only had one meal. I had uh, cheesy beans on toast again because I just my energy levels the same. I was tired. And then Sunday, I only had one meal. Because I didn't wake up till like summer past five in the afternoon. Um, like literally Sunday I slept all the way through to quarter past five. Quarter past five I think it was. Yeah, quarter past five I think it was. Well, whenever I picked up the camera that's when it was. So yeah, so that I only had one meal anyway. So yeah. Um, and uh, today, no, Monday... I literally had one meal as well because I, I did. I, I just when I had the flu, I just didn't have any appetite to be honest. And then Tuesday, I'll probably that's probably where I had like leave them shoes alone. I swear down these cats, these cats want to strangle them. So yeah, Tuesday, I, I, I really can't remember. And today, I really like I'll probably have one meal again because like literally, I'm just in such a routine of just having one meal a day because of obviously being ill. Um, so yeah, so, but these cats, I swear down, like literally, my, I took my shoes off earlier, well not earlier, yesterday, yesterday or Wednesday, no not Wednesday, yesterday or Monday, Monday I think it was, because I had to go out to Bushfields, but I took my shoes off when I got back, and she's there, playing with the laces on my shoes, Stella is, and I'm like, what are you doing, like you have so many toys in the hallway, and you're just sitting there playing with that one. Playing with that my laces on my shoes. Even Charlie does it as well. And I'm like, I'm like, you got balls with bells in out there. You've got fucking the rings off the fucking curtains that you pull along the pole out there, and you're playing with my laces. Like, are you for real? Like, literally, they've got balls with they've got balls about that big with bells in. They've got small ones with bells in. They've got electric mouse that moves. Um, they've got the um. The round things that you put on the curtain to put on the curtain pole. They've got them in nearly every room playing with them. To be honest, I was going to let them have them. But then, like, literally, one fell on the floor. And the next thing you know, it's in the kitchen. And then Stella and Charlie are playing with it. And I'm like, you know what? Just have the lot of them. And I just flicked them all on the floor. In the spare room. In the hallway. In the kitchen. There's even probably some in this room somewhere. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they're just everywhere. And, like, the floors in the kitchen, the hallway, the spare room is covered in their toys. And I, you think I'm joking. I'm not joking. I would show you, but the place is a bit of a mess at the minute. Because, obviously, with me being ill on Sunday, I didn't really do the cleaning. So, yeah. When I say I didn't do the cleaning, I got washing done, like, clothes washing done. Um, Obviously, I'm going to start getting the rest done soon. Um, 
because I need to do it to be honest. Like I can't keep dealing with the mess of the flat man. Like I can't do it. But anyway, um, so like literally in every room, there's toys for them to play with, and they just sit there and play with my laces and my shoes. So okay then, like <laughs> you do you. If that what makes if that what makes you enjoy it, then you do it. Like it's one of them, man. Like I'm like okay. But the thing is, though, before Charlie come, Stella found, like, this rolled-up ball of masking tape, and she's just there playing with it around the flat. I'm like, what are you playing with? I've looked, and it's a ball of masking tape. I'm like, are you for real, cat? Like, what the hell? I was like, you've got more toys than me, and you're freaking playing with that. Like, oh. Anyway, um, going off subject. So, in a minute, I'm going to go and do me something to eat. I think I'm going to have chicken burgers again, because that was quite nice, to be honest, yesterday. Yesterday, I have... Um, Chicken, battered chicken burgers with ketchup on some bread, and I ate that to be honest, and it was quite nice to be fair. So, I think I'm gonna do that again. And plus, I'm literally that worn out from doing that today that um, it's simple and easy to be honest. I just go to whack it in the oven, leave it on for 12 minutes, and then get have it come out, and then just pull it on bread, put the uh, sauce on, put them on top, put the sauce on top of that, and then just cut it off. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do because I'm knackered. Like, literally. Tomorrow I'll be alright. It's just, like, obviously I've been in for, like, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I've been in for five days and I went out today, which is the first day I've been out in five days. And it's killed me. But to be fair, I think that's mainly the asthma part of it because, obviously, with me having the flu, walking from the damn shop up to here... It is a killer. Like, literally, I'm there. Like, <sighs> like you know what I mean? But anyway, um, see, I keep going off subject. So, yeah, so I'm going to go and do that food. I might bring you in with me. Let's take you in with me. Like, literally, like, uh, hold on a minute. And, guys, if you're wondering why I have no base to my bed, well, you see, I have this annoying cat called Stella that thinks it's okay to rip... To like literally rip the corner of my bed to shreds. So I thought, you know what? It looked a mess. I got rid of it in the end. So I'm like, yep, yeah, to get it. So yeah, so that is the reason why I have no bed base. Because Stella thinks it's hilarious to scratch my stuff, don't you, Stella? Where am you? Don't ya? So yeah, so these are the hold on a minute, let me put you down a minute, because obviously. Oh, I might start doing this more often to be fair, because you know what? It's a lot easier than balancing you on the stuff. Okay. That was a bit too hard. Hold on a minute, let me get the tray. Um, so, as I said before, I've got two new trays. I've got a pizza one. I've got this one as well. So, yeah. To be fair, I don't know what that's off, to be honest. You know what? This is going to be in the wash. Like, I don't know what's that off. So, yeah, we're going to use the pizza one today. And what I do is... Hold on a minute. Can you a little bit for me? There we go. Um, hold on a minute. So, what I do is I put tin foil on the actual tray first. And then I put the chicken burgers on. So, these are the ones I'm using. These are the bird's eye ones. Um, where do I get them from now? Farm foods. I think there's a set of... A pack. Not a pack. You, there was a deal with it, um, five different things, I think, of them, um, for, I think, like, six pounds or something like that, I think, I don't know, I can't, I can't remember, um, but yeah. I'm going to show you in a minute once I've done this, obviously. That one had holes in, so I'll rip that bit off. So, hold on a minute, guys. Because with that, with them lot, I had the chicken burgers, the chicken nuggets. Um, what was the one that was really nice? The, I think it was barbecue chicken nuggets. Oh, my God, they were nice. Like, honestly, really nice. So, what I've done is I've just covered the pan in um, 
tin foil. So you might notice that I've put the tin foil with the shiny side facing down and then the more dull, not the shiny side facing up. Um, so now what I do is, what is this going to go on? So I preheat the oven to, to be honest, it says preheat the oven to 110. But the thing is that my oven goes up to max. So that's why I have to put it on. And then I just take them out of the box, put them on the tray. It says do we leave them for 12 minutes. Um, so obviously once I put these in, I'm going to quickly go off video call, off a video and just tie them in, and then obviously then I'm just going to leave them. So I'm going to put them in now. That's what they look like. I've just put them on. I've just separated them onto the tray. Um, I'm going to... Put them in the oven now. Let's tidy up because you're going to have to tidy up yourself. You tell you like when you used to live at your mum's and you've got a grand, uh, when you when you like make a mess, your mum runs up, runs around behind you, yeah, cleaning it and everything. It's not like that now, guys. Like, jeez. Unless you're a cat, then it might be. But if not, then it tell you like that for you now, guys. So, um, let's go back into the bedroom because that is where i am going to be parked up until tomorrow morning because i cannot be asked <laughs> it's just the truth i can't be asked man like oh i just cannot be asked like so yeah um obviously when the timer goes off oh i need to put the timer on hold on a minute guys i will be back i will be back luke i am your father hold on a minute guys i'm back so i have to now put the timer on um, I've put it on for 12 minutes, which, 12, I can't even talk. I've put it on for 12 minutes, and that's what it said to pull it on. Um, so I've done that. Um, I'm going to get into my onesie in a minute. Oh, uh, excuse me, guys, sorry. Um, yeah, I'm going to get into my onesie in a minute. Um, I need to clean my side off because there's a load of shit on there that doesn't need to be on there. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to go through, sort it out, like, because obviously empty can is going to be in. And yes, guys, I know energy drinks are bad for me, but I've had two every day. Um, I had two Thursday, I had two Friday, I had two Saturday, I had two Sunday, and I had two Monday, and then two Tuesday. And then I've had two today. So, you can't exactly say that I've gone over two. I've only had two. So, yeah. Anyhow, anyway, I'm gonna clean out of this cupboard because obviously I've got like baby baby oil, beauty oil that I use to shave my face. I have my hair mousse from yesterday when I done plaited my hair. To be fair, the plaits didn't turn out as good as I was hoping, to be honest. But yeah, it is what it is. I might have to be fair, I might get my curler and come here, to be honest. I haven't had curled hair in ages, and I mean ages. Oh that tickled the back of my head. Anyhow. Um, blush that has broke on me. I've got to try and depot it and put it into something else to put it back into my makeup bag so I can still use it. Uh, it'd be a loose pigment blush then. <laughs> then I have this with this brush in that I use to clean my uh, lash extensions when I put them in rubbing alcohol. You know what I mean? Like alcohol. That's what she said. Spray that needs to go back in the spare room. Um, I just got like a load of rubbish here, like vape juice. What's this one? Skittles. Another vape juice with it is uh, raspberry grape bubble gum. I think I'm not gonna use this. I think I'm not gonna use this vape until I've finished. Till I've thrown this one away, because I'm kind of liking that Skittles one at the minute. Um, this vape is actually Skittles as well. It's a seven thousand one. And yes, people are probably like, oh, you're not supposed to be having them. Yeah, I know, but hey-ho. Hey-ho, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, uh, don't know what anyone can do about it, so yeah. Anyway. I have earrings here that I wore on last week sometime. Like, to be fair, I'm going to keep these near me because these are my go-to earrings. I think they're just like from Primark or something. But yeah, them are my go-to earrings, so I'm going to put these in that drawer. To be fair, I need to sort this drawer out as well. Like, I need to sort the whole cupboard out because, like, 
literally there's so much shit that i've put in here instead of getting up and pulling it away properly like you know what i mean like even to be fair the whole of this corner needs sorting out because like literally there's stuff on the makeup bo the box to put my makeup in there's stuff on top of there that i couldn't be asked to go and pull away properly there's stuff in it that i've shoved in this cupboard because i couldn't be asked to go and pull it away properly um and so i think what i'm gonna do while i'm with you now is i'm gonna go through all this whole corner and obviously make a pile of stuff that needs to go in different uh, separate places um because obviously like i need to pull it away um but obviously before before i start that i will do another video like just pause this and then start another one so that i can do it in fast record so that you are going to be sitting here i was watching me just sorting out this corner um because obviously i know that gets boring and plus while i'm doing it i'm going to be watching criminal minds so obviously i don't want to copyright as well so um <clears throat> so what i do i'm going to once i start doing the cleaning i'm going to pause this bit that i'm sat this uh, section now then and then start a new video well put, start my video uh, recording again and then when i edit it i can use that clip that i've done of cleaning the corner and everything as a speed up one so then that you ain't sat here for hours watching me cleaning this corner because yeah um so yes yeah, so that's what i'm gonna do um because obviously there's a lot of shit in this corner there's a lot of shit in the cupboard there's a lot of shit on top of it that just need pulling away i've to be honest since i've been ill i've got a little bit lazy um instead of actually pulling things where they're meant to be going i've instead put them in a cupboard and pull it off for obviously when i'm better like every time i put something in this cupboard i put it in and i'm like oh i'll put i'll put that away properly when i'm better like you know what i mean um and to be honest i can understand why i've got into that habit because obviously i felt that shit that i didn't even have the energy to get up and walk so i um but yeah so i'm gonna start that in a minute because obviously there's a bag there that's gotta go in the spare room so everything that needs to go in the spare room and i'm putting that bag so that on saturday when i'm gonna go and sort out the spare room i'll tie that bag in with me um it's just so in case that there's anything else that needs to go in the spare room i can just pull it in that bag and then when I go to go into the spare room on Saturday and sort it out, I can take that bag in with me. It saves me having to carry it like loads of stuff in my arms to try and get it in there. Because um, to be fair, I think there's even like a load of shit on this here as well. Like right there. So yeah, and there's like two things on top of that where my TV is that needs to go in the spare room. It's two brushes that I dried that need to go in the spare room. Um, like I said, there's just a lot of shit that I just need to just need to go through and like sort it out so yeah um let me just get the stuff that needs to be going in the spare room like i'm gonna bring that bag down i'm gonna get the stuff that needs to be put into the spare room over here so that obviously like you can see me doing it and that's another bra gone i give up <sighs> anyone else hate bras i do but like, literally I've literally just found a set of bras that literally fit me out of Primark, right? And literally, the bra, the bone in the one part of the bra, it just keeps coming out. So I'm like, I'm like, don't start me, we may. Don't start. Um, so yeah, so uh, let's get on with it. I'm just going to stop this video at this part and then just grab the stuff that I need to like go in different parts. Um, obviously, I'm going to grab the bags from over there as well, because obviously once I've put everything into a separate section, I'm going to obviously stop doing the speed, the speed record and obviously bring them over and talk through what's in there, where does it need to go and that lot. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, let me go into that and then I'll be back.
Okay, so guys, so um, the my alarm actually stopped the video because obviously my food is done. So I'm gonna show you how I prepare my food. Um, plate. Don't need a big plate or anything. Like you know what I mean. Like it's only a little sandwich. Bread. Bread. Um, and then I'm just gonna shove it in this corner. So as you seen in the last part, I melted my nail as I put my can uh, my candle on. So that was brilliant idea, wore it Terry. Bloody melting me damn nail, I ask ya. Okay, so, there we go. Let me just, now we just need to get the sauce. I'm just trying to find it. I could put it in one of these bags and I'll pull down to find it. There it is. Right in the corner, I give up. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them out of the oven. Always make sure you put stuff on to stop yourself from burning your hands. So, there we have. We have got them out of the oven. I'm just going to put them on the side a minute just to let them cool down a minute. And um, obviously, you don't want to pick it up and put it in straight away. Oh my gosh, of course, anyway. There we go. So, I'm gonna get the sauce. I did have barbecue sauce, but you know, I've ate it all and I keep forgetting to get some from the shop when I go do my shopping. So yeah, looks like we're stuck with tomorrow for now. Can't believe it, but there you go. I have to forget my brain if we're all screwed on, so yeah. Now just put another layer of sauce on. I have to shake it because I'm running low with this one. I'm pretty sure I've got another one though anyway, so it's fine. Um, that's when I start doing with the barbecue sauce, getting two instead of just one when I get to do the shopping. So then, oh, hold on a minute. You know, the thing is that, you know, my problem is, is like literally as I've just gone to put the bread down, I've realised it's the wrong way. So I've had to like pick it up and there's already ketchup on the top bottom of it. So I've turned it round so the ketchup is still facing down towards the chicken burgers. Like, mate, I'll, I'll tell you some OCD is real, man. Then the tin from the... Oh, I've just realised that I turned the oven off. Whoops. Um, so the tin foil from the tray, I'm putting the bin. Um, yes, guys, you will realise I haven't got a bin. I'm still... Oh, that's nice and warm. I'm still sorting out the flat. So bear with me, guys, all right? Um, just bear with me, because I will get there eventually. It's just, it's, it's going to take time, you know what I mean? As my mum keeps telling me, it's going to take time. Oh, jeez. To be honest, I think what I've done, what I'm going to do now is, um, I think I'm just going to start with one room at a time for, like, getting sorted. Because obviously, like, you know what I mean? Like, hold on, let me get a knife. Um, this one is fine. I used this yesterday. But just for quick, just for quickness. Um, don't worry, I've wiped it off. It has got to be washed anyway. Um, the only thing you said on it is pretty much the same as what I done yesterday. The bread and the sauce, because I use it to cut them up. Um, so yeah, so that is pretty much my food for now. Um, let me just take you back into the bedroom. Because um, I'm going to talk to you for five minutes. And then I'm going to get on with sorting the rest of the stuff out in the bedroom because obviously i need to get it done still a move please you've already had your food thank you you got fed as soon as you got back thank you you fat shite um hold on let me check in the spare rooms hold on because I, oh, I keep forgetting to turn it off man no it's off thank god for that i keep forgetting to turn it off man like uh, i leave the hallway light on until i till i go to bed and then that's when i turn the hallway light off because sometimes when i turn the hallway light off i turn off the bedroom one as well and that's when i start settling down as you seen last night um hold on a minute let me just let me just put this back down um okay so as i was saying guys um with the sorted out the flat i think i'm just gonna do one room at a time because obviously me trying to get all these rooms done at once it ain't gonna help like when i set that weekly goal for me to do the painting um in the, pretty much all the rooms like it kind of failed because literally i didn't end up doing any other painting like literally not at all um 
this candle is going to stay by me anyway because I like to put a candle on sometimes. Um, but yeah, like I'm just going to start with one room at a time, and the room that I'm starting with at the top at the mini is the spare room. That's the room that needs doing the most because obviously there's wall paint that needs to do, there's glass that needs to be done, there's pulling that pole up in the spare in that um, wardrobe needs pulling up. Then once that's up, hanging my clothes on there. Um, you know what I mean? That's the main room that needs it the most. So I'm going to start off with that room. Because um, I'm going to start off with different areas in that room. That, so the area that I'm going to be focusing on Saturday is the um, wardrobe. The doors for the wardrobe in there. Um, that is the room that I'm going to be... That is the part that I'm going to be focused on. Because as soon as that part's done and all my clothes are hung up, um, then I can then move on to, obviously, organising the rest of the stuff. Because obviously there's a lot of shit in that room. Like, I will be honest with you, there is a lot of shit in that room. A lot of shit that I need to go through, um, throw away. I did start off when I put all the stuff in there. But then, obviously, I got ill, I've been busy. Um, so... So hi guys, as you can tell, it's a little bit later on in the day. My battery died, so what I did was I ate my food. I then finished the rest of my sorting out. Stella, what? Can you wait a minute, please? Give me five minutes. Please, I'm begging you. So yes, yeah, so basically I've got a Primark bag in the corner, which needs to go into the spare room and the clothes need to start being hanged up once I've got that rail up. And then I've got another bag over there, which is Lacoste. Don't do that, please, Stella, because you're not my phone number, anything. Has got my jammers in, which will also be hung up on the rail once it's up. Um, this bag here, this red one, is pretty much everything that needs to be put away in the spare room that isn't closed. Um, so I've put like the COVID tests in because I took one of these on Friday to make sure it wasn't COVID. I had um, come back negative, guys. Thank God. My screwdriver set that my dad gave me. Um, shoe wipes. Um, my old blackberry that I'm going to pull away and keep because you know I'm sentimental like that man um, the beauty oil that was on the side the mousse that was on the side the vape stuff is in there I'm going to put into the spare room because um, obviously that lot needs to be pulled into the spare room and pull away over here you've got my two baubles that I bought from a Christmas tree because I'm going to put that up tomorrow night um, because can you believe it is the 1st of December on Friday like guys like how how did this happen like just don't get where the year's gone like i really honestly don't like i'm confused so yeah so then i've got the straighteners and hair dryer that i need to put away as well um this side has already nearly done there's this bottle that needs to be emptied and put in the bin the can needs to be put in the bin um the box with all my sewing stuff um this box here, it's got thread and pins to um, sew stuff together. That needs to go back into the spare room. The rubbing alcohol that I use to clean my eyelashes, my cluster lashes, this either goes under the sink or back in the spare room. But I think I'm going to leave it in here for now because I'm going to have another go at cleaning the lashes. Um, there's still some, there's still some glue left on the lashes, so I want to clean them before I put a fresh set back on. Um, my lotion that I use this, yes, I know this is a baby lotion, but to be fair, I have eczema. Um, so I'm trying this. If this don't work, um, I've been told to try E45. Um, so yeah, so that's going to stay in here because every time I go out of the bath, I lather my body in this. So that's staying in here because this is where I'll get ready after I've got out of the bath. Um <clears throat> Nail file is staying here because I need to sort my nail out, this nail. I've just put it on, but all the rest of my nails are rounded, so I need to round this one as well. Um, this rubbing alcohol can go in there because it can go in the spare room. No, actually, I'm going to leave it out because I need to try and clear my cluster lashes again. Um, what are you purring at? Sorry, I've just got Stella here, as you can see, we are. Um, so this needs to go in the bin. This needs to go in the bin. There's a bag by my TV that needs to be given to my mum and dad when they come up Saturday. It, there's some stuff in there for Jamie, some stuff in there for my mum. Um, I've done a sort out of the spare room um, when I change the spare room over. Um, there's some heated rollers. 
if you can hear that banging i put my shoes that i normally wear in the wash because i got really dirty they were getting dirty and they were getting dirty and crusty so i put them in the washer with some stain remover for whites and stain remover for colors and then some surf so yeah so that's gone in there i've got my black knee-high boots that i'm going to wear now until them dry um to be honest i've actually had them shoes and i'm in the wash now for a year like i can't believe how much they have lasted like if that was shoes from primark they would have ripped by now mate like i'm being honest like i'm just in shock man that literally they've lasted that long but anyway um i'm not saying that there's some washing that i'm waiting for dry there's washing over there i'm waiting for dry as you can see the corner of it i'm waiting for my duvet to dry so i can put it on my blank on my bed because obviously at the minute i haven't got a duvet on top of my um I haven't got a sheet on top of my duvet, that's what I meant. Um, because obviously I washed it and now I'm just waiting for it to dry. Uh should be dry tomorrow, so yeah, that's fine. That'd be another that'd be one for tomorrow. Um My hair drying needs to go in the other room. These straighteners need to go in the other room as well. Um biscuits need to go in the kitchen for obviously when I was ill, I was just picking at them. Um I don't know about tea, I might have hot hot tea, a cup of tea and I'm some biscuits, I don't know yet. We'll see. But anyway, and then I've got my pulpit charger in charge. Um, I'm gonna put my other pulpit charger in charge while I'm smart using my vape. Um, because obviously, like, I need these for tomorrow. So that's on charge. So that's fine. Um, you know what? I'm actually gonna take this vape out. Actually, wherever it's gone. So I'm gonna take this vape out and pull it over here on the side a habit of leaking and if it's in there i don't want it to leak all over everything so that's going to stay there this bag has my knitting stuff in so uh let me show you because no one actually believes that i actually knit so yeah um i have oh that there is going there i have my knitting stuff in here i might do some of that in a minute to be fair do some relaxing stuff you know what i mean um so let's put the straighteners in there leave that there um, hair dryer hold on a minute i'm just gonna put wrap this up and pull it in the bag so that it's tangled like always still in my life uh that can go in there so yeah i just need to fight this needs to these need to go in the bin as well them and wipes and i try to use to wipe the white bit on my shoes didn't work but I'll put them in the washer so hopefully that works. Um, I just need to find a tub to put that um, highlighter in. Because obviously it's all smashed. So um, I'm scared. Them shoes are going to break my washer. Not proper bad. But I don't think of this did I until I pull them in. Oh, God. You know what? I'm just going to have to let it, let it run its course. And fingers crossed, they come out fine and my, sh my washer is not broken afterwards. I've put my shoes in there before, but I've put them in a pillowcase. And normally, if I don't have a pillowcase with them in there, I normally put, like, stuff that needs washing in there as well. So that it kind of, like, stops the blow of the shoes, keep beating the thing. But I didn't think to do that, did I? So, just fingers crossed that literally it doesn't break my washer because I'll have to get a new washer um so yeah so uh i think that's everything to be honest um i'm just waiting for my two purple charges to draw charge then i can put them in that way um i'm gonna these two plates need to go into the kitchen because i need to wash up in the kitchen in a minute um but i'm gonna wa do the washing up once my the wash is finished so that i can hang uh to get the wash and stuff out like the shoes and then i can put them somewhere to dry um because obviously we're in winter so i can't exactly put them out on the line like i did with my last ones can i um well i'll think of something i'll think of something um to be fair i might just like blow dry them to be honest i'm not sure yet but we'll see what they come out like and what state they come out like because obviously Last time I put a pair of shoes in was my vans and the material didn't come out quite 
dry if you get what I mean because it, it, it's suede so suede and water doesn't work um so yeah but I'm just gonna have to see how like I'm just I'm just praying to God that literally the shoes do not break my washer and um the washer don't break my shoes because it's definitely a case of buying a new pair so what I'm gonna do with this bag that needs to go into this one here that needs to go into um the spare room i'm gonna pull it by my suitcase i'll take it to my granddad's because as soon as saturday comes i can take it into the spare room i can start putting stuff away while i wait for my mom and dad to come up um because obviously them two bags need to go in there as well because i need to start like um pulling stuff on coat hangers um so that when the rail's been put up i can just start pulling the clothes on the rail um so yeah but now I'm just debating now. Do I put my winter clothes? Do I hang my winter clothes up, or do I hang my summer clothes? This is this is con the conundrum I'm at because I've got more winter clothes than I have summer clothes. I've got tracksuits. I've got um, jumpers. I've got hoodies. Um, so I've got quite a lot of stuff that I need to hang up if I need to do my winter stuff. But then. I've also got a cupboard in the other room, the one that's in between the spare room and this one, of clothes as well. So, I'm debating whether to put my winter clothes, hang my winter clothes up on the rails being put up Saturday, and then my um, pyjamas, like my winter pyjamas, and then just put all my summer stuff in one of the boxes for now. Um, I don't, I don't know which one I'm gonna do yet. So, um, we'll just see. Because obviously, um, you know what I mean. It's one of them, man. It's one of them. Because <clears throat> to be fair, I was thinking of turning that could that cupboard where my um clothes are being pulled into a shoe kind of thing, like um, you know, like a sh massive shoe rack. I was. I was thinking of turning my cupboard into that because I have a hell of a lot of shoes, man. Like, I mean, hell of a lot. Um, and obviously, they're just, in the, they're just in bags at the minute and they're in the way. So, um, I'm just debating what to do. If Because what I'm thinking is, if my dad can't put that rail up on that wall in there, then what I'm thinking is, I'm going to have to have that rail up along the wall where the wall that's closest that side and have that cupboard as like my shoe kind of cupboard um so i don't know but we'll see we'll see saturday because obviously if that's okay if my dad can't put that rail up in there because of the wall not being strong enough then i'm gonna have to obviously change my idea but if that is the case i've got to change my idea that's not bad then because obviously then I can put a shoe rail in there where all my shoes can go and that lot. And then, yeah, so that's what I'm thinking anyway. If if my dad could put that rail in there, then obviously I'm going to have to change my idea. And if I do have to change my idea, that's the idea I might go with. Because obviously, like, because um, obviously I just really need somewhere to put, like, my shoes, my clothes, um like my bags and that lot um and then i've got a box in the spare room of like literally miscellaneous stuff like um i have two hot wheels in there i have the pink car out of fast and furious in there like the little model um you know what i mean so i've got like all that in there and obviously i want to get another desk as well because then i can have one for makeup and hair and then one for like my um like my books my notebooks and that lot um, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what Saturday brings because, you know what I mean, I might not have to change it around, we'll just have to see, so yeah, so, but anyway guys, I'm now going to just relax now the rest of the night, I'm going to watch Criminal Minds, I'm going to take my tablets, I'm going to have a hot cup of tea and hot water bottle to keep me warm because I'm freezing my ass off, um, so yeah, and I'm just going to wait for obviously the washer to finish and then I'll wash up, so yeah guys, um, that will be all for now i will come back later on tonight before i go to bed um and talk to you guys then say good night and that lot and then 
tomorrow I will come on in the morning, tell you what's going on, obviously, and then obviously, um, you know. So yeah, guys, so I'll talk to you later and I hope you all have had a fab, you know what, I'm not even ending the video yet, why am I saying that? Oh my God, it's like I can't even vlog no more, like, I don't know how to do it, like, it's mad. But anyway, guys, I'll talk to you later on, um, because as I said, I'm going to chill now, watch Criminal Minds while I wait for the washer to finish so I can get the shoes out and obviously get them out to dry. Um, so yeah, so I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye. So, hi you guys, hope you all are doing well. I know it's been a hot minute, oh shit. Hot minute since I was on. Whoop. I know it's been a hot minute since I was on video, done a video. Well, not video, like, honestly. So, basically, all I've done today was, um, I got up, walked up to the shop, um, and then went to my mates today. Um, Quite fun to be fair, we had quite a laugh to be honest. Um, then we were on video call to our other mates. Um, so yeah, so I had quite a lot of fun to be honest. Um, you know what I mean? Like, it was it was it was a laugh, like really good laugh to be honest. It's what I needed. So you know what I mean? So it's one of them. So yeah. I know I need to wash my jumper because I dyed the hair for her and I've got like black there and there and then I've got two little spots. So I need to put this in the wash anyway. Um, these trousers need to go in the wash as well because I don't realise I've got paint on them until I got to my mates and I'm like, shit. So yeah, so basically I'm just going to put the jumper and the trousers in the wash. Um, obviously, all the other stuff. Um, so I'm sure I've got a load of wash and I need to do it anyway. Um, so yeah, so now I'm back. It is like, what time is it? I think it's like summer half six or something like that. Or five or something like that. I don't know. Um, so yeah, so now I'm just doing some toast because I'm feeling a bit peckish. I'm not feeling all oh, really hungry. I'm just feeling a bit peckish. Um, it's not horrible, but I'm like a cold. Oh, well, no. Um, I think I'm going to do my cup of tea as well, to be fair, because I'm quite cold. So, that toast needs to be done a bit more. Yeah. Um, let me get me butter out. Butter. Um, so, yeah, so, how's everyone been? Oh, how's everyone? Oh, I need a cup. So, yeah, so, how's everyone been? Um, the cats have been normal cats like always um i did do like a little tiktok on my uh tiktok of um them pair as uh, one cat dogs and cats out of the uh, drink oh my god it was so cute like literally hilarious um like it was so funny i love it um oh
So I use the semi-skimmed long life milk. Um, it's the one that I use. It's the one that I pretty much been brought up on. As I don't, when I was younger, the family didn't really drink anything like the blue one or anything. It was always just the green one. So like that's what I've been brought on, and that's what I've carried on with. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go into the room, into my bedroom, and I'm gonna get in change, and then I'll be back on in a minute, guys. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. So, um. I've got a mate staying tonight, um, long story, I'm not going to say it because obviously, um, and yeah, so I'm just waiting for her to let me know when she's on the bus so I can go up and meet her and then, oh I've got a chi. Uh, so yeah, so um, from the last time we talked, I went through my summer clothes, um, the ones that are oh, for summer, I'll put them back in the bag. The ones that I can use for winter, I'll put in the bag that needs to go into the spare room to be hanged up for when my dad brings, oh, I've got hiccups, brings the, um, come up and do the pole for me. Um, what? I've got little Stella here, me and her head off, like always, don't ya? Hmm? Don't ya? Why is it still like every time I put the camera on or I have to do it on a phone, you have to come and meow right next to me? Hmm? What is it? What is it? Hmm? Why? Why? Just purring her head off like always, are ya? My little darling. So she's actually chilling inside of me for some reason. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And Charlie is probably lying on. It's probably on the uh, actual the scratch post thing they got. Um, I need to get them a new one of that. To be fair. Where am you, Charlie? Normally, when I call him, he comes running in. Charlie. Hello, hello, darling. Here comes another one. You're gonna come and say hello? Huh? You're gonna come say hello? And here he is. Charlie the man. What? Your meow is so funny, Charlie, because it's how like a normal meow. It's like a meow. It's so funny. Say hi. Don't ask. What? He literally loves sleeping up this corner on a night. I do not know why, but he loves it. And this one loves sleeping on my back. Like, literally. Last night, I had one literally lying next to me under my blanket. I had one on my back. I can tell, probably guess you which one was on my back, Stella. Like, literally. And then when I was lying here watching my film before I decided to start out my clothes, right, I had Charlie, like, lying, sitting on me. And then Stella come and squished her ass next to him. I wish I got a picture to be fair because it's actually quite funny. So and kinda of cute. So yeah, so but yeah, we've got little man here. Charlie boy. And then we've got Stella here. Hello. What? Tell mum what's the matter. What's the matter, my little darling? Okay. And he just got Charlie chilling as he does. Mommy's boy. Mm. So, yeah, so got a pair of them right next to me. 
You do realise, Stella, you are going to be able to sit there when my mate gets here, right? Right? Assholes. For some reason, so, I've washed my sheet because obviously I dropped my food on it and it needed washing anyway. So I've washed it and the, literally the print of where I've dropped my food is still on the sheet. So I, I don't know how the hell I'm going to fix that. Because I put a coat at some... Um, some stain remover in the wash with the surf. So I don't know why the hell it's not done it, but I might have to give it another wash for it to do. But I'm really hoping that that dye's come out my jumper, to be honest. Because, well, we'll soon see after, will we? So yeah, guys, um, I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do actually. I'm kind of, meh. It's one of them days, isn't it? One of them days going, eh. Oh, you know, I've just realized I've got a head on the actual, I've got a head on my arm. How have I got hair on my arm? Taven, my hair was dying. Like, look at that. How have I got on this arm? No? Oh, I don't know. I don't, Gelly. But anyway, guys. um, My hair is getting on my nerves. Anyway. um, I'll talk to you later, guys. Um, Yeah. Back in a bit. So, hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I have two parcels... Uh, here, um, I'm going to unbox them with you in a minute because um, I'm also going to do a video for TikTok as well. But first, let me feed this cat first because you know what I mean. Guys, get her. This little one's going to keep moaning in my ear until I give her some food. So let's give her some food. So, guys, this video is probably going to be a little bit late, but I will try and get it up as soon as I'm done because as soon as. Hold on then. Because as, as, as soon as I've done this clip, um, I'm going to edit it all together because I'm going to have a bath in a mini. Um, I'm going to edit it all together and then get it up as quick as I can. So it should be up before midnight tonight. Um, so yeah, so let's just unblock, unblock them. Unbox them. I oh, give up, man. Um, you know, I just realised if I unbox them, I'm going to have to put them back in the box for TikTok to unbox it on there. So, I know what I've bought, but I don't have a clue which one is which, because obviously... Um, oh, I think this one is... This is the remover for the lashes. Because, um, as you know, I love my tattoo lashes. As you can tell, I've used them today. And I think this one is another pack of them. I think. Let me have a look. Because I've got some, like, little fucking... I need to stop swearing, it's so nasty. But anyway, um, moving on, moving on. Because um, I know I've got some coming from eBay as well. Um, because I don't know how long these was going to be. Because obviously, I only out ordered them when did I order them. I um, can't remember when I ordered them. But then, these are the ones that I've... Oh, the box is a bit squished. Ah, that's, that's what you get with a uh, postman. They tried to shove it through me a uh, post box. So these are the tree, tree, tres chic everyday glam. Um, these are the ones that I brought with the kit because you get the um, bond and seal, and then you get the tweezers, and then obviously you get the the actual lashes. There's four different lashes you can pick from. I pick these because I like the everyday look. Um, you know what I mean. Um, but I do want to try other ones as well because I, I am, you know what, I'm obsessed with these but you know what they am a bit on the expensive well i say be on the expensive side when you first buy the kit so you get this you get that and you get this this is the kit um this was like probably like 20 quid 20 pound 19 i think it was when i bought them um don't get me wrong the quality and the use that you get out of these you get like 40 you get 40 cluster lashes so, you know what I mean? You get the use out of it. So, um, but yeah, so I bought another pack because obviously I'm addicted to them now. And then I got the um, lash remover because um, obviously, like, I want to start taking care of them because obviously if you clean them properly and everything and remove them properly, you can, you reuse them up to, like, how many, like, times? Hold on, let me get, try and get the remover out. Like, it's in this plastic wrap. Oh, there's a bit at the back of it. Never mind. Um, I'm trying to get this 
clicked on as fast as I can so I can get on editing it and then pull it, getting it up as quick as I can. See, it's even got on the back um, instructions um, on how to use it, like uh, step one, step two, step three, step four. And then obviously you've got it in here. But the packaging though, oh my God, the packaging is ice star. I've got to say, like literally ice star, like, oh my God. If literally I woke up to like a present like this, for, of one of my family, you know what I mean? Like, I'll be, I'll, I'll, mate, I'll be over the moon. I literally would. Like, oh my God, like, I love them. So, yeah, so, um, I'm going to now go and take a bath in a minute after I've done a clip for TikTok. Because, um, obviously, I want to start uploading on there and doing hauls and that lot. Because, um, I think in the middle of December, I'm going to do, like, a Primark haul as well. Because, obviously, like, you know what I mean? I need to start taking more effort in with my TikTok, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm gonna try doing. So yeah, so I'm gonna have to put all this back in the box to undo it again. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So yeah, so um, yeah, I'm gonna quickly do a TikTok video, put that up, quickly edit this vlog while I'm in the bath, get this up. So yeah, so the latest this will be up will probably be like 11 o'clock, half 11, the latest I'm, I'm targeting for. So yeah, guys, I will see you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog well i wouldn't say weekly because you know what i mean like i haven't done saturday and sunday because saturday i'm just um doing the spare room with my dad um and then sunday is just a cleaning day for me so there's not really much to do to show you with them so yeah so um i hope you enjoyed this week kind of kind of weekend weekly vlog um i hope you all have had a brilliant week and i hope you all have a fab weekend Just not lost in on the open fire.